it's we've had rugby league in our DNA, I suppose, ever since the first day I was born. I think I was conceived in a dressing room, actually. And, and just those efforts in the 70 grand final, it's something that it just became part of our daily conversation, really, in the Sattler household because we we lived it every day, I suppose, with people coming up and asking you about the story. I think I just chased him, like I said. I think I just wanted to try and stop him from scoring underneath the goalposts. And, and I just thought that if he'd step back inside, Reese West, the fullback, would be coming across at some stage. And, and as I said, it was a wet night. It was probably more of a mud runner's night, more so than a than a than a speedster's night. And and uh, I just found myself gathering more momentum and more momentum. And I got to the stage where I thought, oh, I'm going to be able to get him here. And fortunately enough for me, it was wet, and I was able to get contact on him. And, and it being wet, also we. We slid over the sideline. It felt like an eternity. It felt like an eternity, but fortunately enough for us, it, it turned out all right. Yeah, it was something that started back in 2001. We were having a really bad year at the Panthers. I just used to go up to the, this disused train line every Wednesday in the uh, Lower Blue Mountains, and I just used to do some extra training myself. And, a couple of years had passed and there was a young uni student that used to um, used to come and do some training with me now and then and he just used to want to do, he was doing some uh, some thesis work on on the physical side of rugby league training. About 2005 I'd ran into him in the Gold Coast and he said to me, I oh, remember that thesis I did, and yes, and he said, you know, the, the train line used to do every Wednesday, I said yes, and he said, can you remember um, how many steps there were? He goes, oh, I said, I knew them back to front. There was, you know, 83 steps, 82 if you didn't count the, the last one. He said, do you know how many steps you took? I said, no. He said, yeah, you took 85 steps. Yeah, for those, I suppose those those years I was going up there to, to do the training sessions by myself, I suppose it was preparing me for whatever moment was going to, going to, uh, to come uh, before me. And, and I suppose it's, uh, I suppose it's a good message to say to, you know, preparation, I suppose, makes perfect. Uh, I remember one time actually I was working for Fox Sports and I was walking up the up the grandstand at the Sydney Football Stadium and it was at a Roosters game and someone hit me flush in the side of the face of the, with a with a pie. So, <laughs> so I think uh, I'm not really well liked in those areas.